Okay. Now. Okay, now. She said now. I took some chicken out for supper tonight, and I didn't know until about two hours ago what I was actually going to do with this chicken I took out for supper. So, we're having chicken and rice. I got some butter in my pan right here. I'm going to add one minced clove of garlic. Stir that around. Oh my goodness. Smells like garlic. I love the smell of garlic and butter, y'all. Plus half of a diced white onion. Actually, this is a yellow onion. It's not white. It's a sweet yellow onion. I'm going to stir that around. I'm going to let this sweat just a little bit. My pan is on about medium high just because I wanted to get that butter hurried up and melted. I have a little casserole dish over here. I've sprayed that and it's gonna, I love, I prefer to spray my pans anytime I'm making a casserole or anything with cooking spray, just cause it makes it a little bit easier to get things out of them when they are done. So this is already starting to sweat and turn a little bit brown. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because I don't want it to brown brown. I just want it to start becoming translucent and so that it loses just a little bit of the crispiness. We don't want it to lose it completely, but I don't want to be crunching on onions and mistake them for crunchy rice because crunchy rice is definitely not my favorite thing to eat. I don't know about y'all. I don't make chicken and rice very often just because I don't ever think about it, but it's definitely something I should make more because my family likes it a lot. And I make mine a little bit different than other people. You'll see why in a few minutes. I like a creamy rice when I make chicken and rice, and so I add a little something extra to it. You can probably already see the can sitting there, but um, this doesn't take very long to cook already getting nice it's getting translucent they're getting a little bit easier to move around in my pan and so <laughs> I just flung an onion across the counter while that cooks just a little bit more I'm going to show you the herbs that I got out that I'll be mixing you on top of my chicken here in a second I'm gonna leave that alone for just a minute in here to go on top of my chicken i have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of paprika a teaspoon of thyme half a teaspoon of pepper half a teaspoon of garlic i'm just going to mix that around a little bit get those herbs nice and blended herbs and spices they're not all herbs really thyme is the only herb in here and i'm just going to coat my chicken with my herb mixture. Herb and spice mixture. There we go. That chicken will be ready in just a minute when I go to put it in my pan. So, these are about the doneness that I want them. You see it didn't take very long. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pour my rice in this pan and I'm gonna let my rice absorb just a little bit of that butter and get some of that flavor cooked into my rice. The other thing I'm gonna add, rice always soaks up your seasoning, y'all. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of thyme to my rice. I'm not adding a whole lot of salt because when I add my liquid, there will be salt in my liquid as well. You can see here, this is getting nice and blended, soaking up all that butter. Look at that. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this mixture, oh man, that thyme is starting to smell now and it really smells good. I don't want to brown my rice. I just want to toast it just a little bit in the pan, okay? And toast those herbs that time, especially just a little bit in the pan. 
So I'm gonna pour this into my casserole dish right here. All of it. And I'm gonna lay it out nice and flat. so that I can put my chicken on top of it when I bake it all together. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. This is gonna take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to cook once I get it in, all put together. So I'm gonna lay that nice and flat. Now, a good rule of thumb when it comes to rice, this was a cup and a half of rice, a good rule of thumb is twice the water to your rice. So while that is sitting there for just a second. I'm gonna put about another tablespoon of butter in here to be melting. So you guys can see what I'm adding here. I've got a can of crema chicken soup. Doesn't that look tasty? Well, yeah. It's gonna make everything even tastier when it's done. And then I have three cups of water but I have and I have two bouillon cubes in here what? typically chicken bouillon um, typically whoopsie you go one to one with your bouillon to water but bouillon is kind of salty so I didn't want to overdo the saltiness of the dish by adding too much bouillon you can see the herbs floating around in there you're absolutely right I'm gonna get this good and stirred up. Get that, woo, I made a mess. Abby's gonna have to clean it up. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Let that sit there. When that starts bubbling and everything, those big clumps will break up and spread out. So you don't have to worry about mixing it in perfectly. You could mix the liquid and the cream of chicken together if you wanted and make it all nice and creamy and pour it all into your rice. It's not really that big of a deal to me, okay? So, my butter just finished melting, and what I'm gonna do, I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> the noise is the melted butter. I'm gonna take my chicken breast, I'm gonna lay them seasoning side down in this pan for just a minute. I just wanna sear those seasonings onto the chicken for just a minute. Don't touch it. It'll be hard. It'll be really hard to not peek at it. Give it just one full minute. That's all you need. You keep, I have my pan a little bit cooler than I need it to. So you want that on about medium high, okay? Are you timing me, Aaron? Is that what you're doing right now? Did you set a timer? Maybe. <laughs> it's about 10 seconds behind. Okay, so it's about 10 seconds off. Got it. So while that's cooking, you can use that time. I'm gonna use that time and stir this up just a little bit more. Break up some more of those clumps. My guys really like chicken and rice. It's a really easy dish to make. You can make it in the crock pot too throw everything together. You can even skip the whole searing this and all that and just throw everything in the crock pot. I just think that mixing the herbs and searing the chicken and all of that just gives it just a little bit of extra flavor. All right, Erin says I have spent one minute on my chicken. So, there's one of them. Seasoning side up. Yes. Seasoning side up when you put it in your pan to cook. Y'all, this is about two and a half pounds of chicken breast. <laughs> Aaron's getting excited. You getting excited? Why, for supper? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron likes eating here, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so this is about two and a half pounds of chicken breast. It's just enough to feed my family. Just barely. There's usually no leftovers. But that's okay, because sometimes leftovers sit in the fridge and get forgotten about. Sometimes they don't. Where am I at? 30 seconds to go, y'all. <laughs> in 30 seconds, I will take these two out. I will put some aluminum foil on the top, 
and we will bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes. If you check it and your rice hasn't soaked up all your juice, give it another five minutes. Then take it out, let it sit for five minutes, and it should soak the rest of it up. I'm actually using a jasmine rice just because I really like the way jasmine rice fluffs up and absorbs your liquid. I just like, I didn't. I mean, rice is rice, I guess, but I prefer jasmine rice to all of them. And trust me, I have cooked many a different kind of rice. So, turn my burner off here. Last chicken breast down. It's not cooking in the lonely house until you make a mess. Yes, yes, we do like to make a mess. <laughs> But oh well, we have good food too, don't we? Uh oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aaron says, oh yeah. All right, so aluminum foil, 30 minutes, and we shall return. Stop. Isn't that beautiful? After about 30 minutes in the oven on 350, I keep, you better keep your hand away, you're going to get burned. <laughs> I took the foil off and let it cook for another 10 minutes, and then it has rested for five. The rice has soaked up the last of the juice, and we are going to have supper. Y'all try this recipe. Tell me if you like it. Take care.